definitely stalking that and I wonder if he's not going to sneak his way a little bit closer and that scrub here is going to be caught unawares. Let's see. Interesting though that he picked it up. It was amazing. He was just sitting there and he all of a sudden picked up something and just started moving that way and then the scrub bear has just popped out now and hopefully the scrub bear moves towards Hosanna and we see him chasing it because it'll be amazing. We know that he has caught a scrub here in the last week so I'm pretty sure he does go after them quite regularly and I've had a very close encounter with a scrub here in Hosanna. Unfortunately he missed that day but let's see maybe he's going to get a little closer. It's interesting. There's the eyes of the scrub here. Now of course there's no lights on whatsoever so we can't see anything in the dark. I can't see where he is or the scrub here. It's only through the monitor that I can watch what's going on. So hopefully for Hosanna he just sits tight where he is and the little scrub here comes bounding towards him around that mound. Which I don't know if it's going to do. The road is on the other side there and we know the scrub here is like to be in open clearings. They don't really like to go through thickets but it seems, maybe it seems as though it's coming closer. Is it coming closer? It does look like it's coming straight towards us, doesn't it? Which means it's going to make its way straight towards Hosanna. Nope. There, it's turning now. No. Can't see him at all. I don't know where he's gone, but he's somewhere behind that clump of trees. Is he still there? Oh, there he is. You can just see him. Look at that camouflage. Isn't that amazing? So he's going to just lower himself probably and start to creep again. The thing about a scrub here is it's a fleet-footed animal and it's fast. And out of all the animals out here that see well at night, scrub hares are one of them. So scrub hares also do see very well. And so he's got to be a little bit aware of that. And, and that's why he's taking his time. It's about patience. And this is what he has to learn as a leopard. As a leopard is an ambush predator. It's not a rushing predator like a cheetah or a lion in those sort of regards. It's, it's more an ambush. It needs to wait. It needs to hold tight. And wait for that exact opportunity there. Now the scrub has moved a little bit. You see how careful he is with his feet. Placing them delicately and, e and ever so quietly. Making sure he's not making noise. And you'll find the back leg, if he takes another step, will go exactly where that front leg went. So he's going to direct register. He's going to make sure that he's not making too much noise by moving. And he keeps his feet moving in the same leg. You see? See how carefully he places that back foot? Right where that front foot was. Ever so gently places his front foot. See how he's watching? Look at how that back foot comes down slowly. I think maybe the scrub here has run off a little bit because his movement has quickened slightly. Like I said, I can't see anything. I have no idea where the scrub here has gone. I've got no lights at all. So difficult for me to see what's happening. Okay, I can see the scrub here now. So the scrub here is just to the right, Senzo, just in the open clearing there. Uh, somewhere in that general vicinity I saw it. I don't know, somewhere there. So Mary, you say he's definitely going to catch something for dinner tonight. Well, I hope so. He's certainly trying his luck with everything that is around. So I'm sure at some point he is going to grab something. I'm sure I saw that scrub here out on that open clearing somewhere. Maybe it was just my eyes deceiving me. Hmm, interesting. Nonetheless, I thought I saw it there. Either the way, it must be somewhere close that he's kind of moving along that thicket. Can you see him still, Senzo? Is he still behind the tree? Oh, it's difficult to make them out when they're behind thickets like this. Yes, there he is. He's at the back there. So I'm just going to try and watch him more than the scrub here because the scrub here is going to move around and is going to sort of trot and jump and kind of run around a little bit and so if we watch him we'll be able to keep up with what is going on. What I want to try and do is just get a slightly better angle on this because we're not going to disturb the hunt too much from where I am. I'm right across the dam on the other side so I just want to go up onto the dam wall itself and we shouldn't have any issues if we go onto the dam wall. We should have a situation where we're able to kind of still view the process but have a much better clearer view with him behind that thicket as we speak. So. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get that side. Now a mosquito bit me on the nose and it's super itchy and now it's really 
the first time I've ever been bitten on the nose before. It's <laughs> driving me a little bit on the mad side, I must be honest. It's a very unusual feeling to have an itchy nose via mosquito bite. So I do apologize if I sneeze at any stage. It's because of this silly little sort of nose that I've got of my at the moment. So there I can see him. Can you see him, Senzo? So we're going to try and just watch him for a little bit longer and see how close he is. Look, there he's stalking. How cool is that? With the infrared and his lights glowing as he's stalking down towards the water. Look at how he's slowly but surely making his way, checking his movement every now and then. Where's the scrub here? I don't see it. It's somewhere here. The way he's stalking, he can see the scrub here. I honestly have no idea where it is. It must be somewhere in this little clearing. But I think let's carry on with him. We would normally be wrapping the show now, but we're going to extend just to watch Hosanna hunting and try and see if he doesn't catch himself a meal. The way he's walking and stalking, how cool is that? It's just that much more sort of hectic with his eyes glowing. It's so much more airy. Imagine that stalking you in the night and you saw that coming. It's enough to make people have nightmares. But so cool. Look how he's just focus his muscles are twitching as he watches and stares and looks i don't know how far he's got to go i seriously can't see the scrub here oh there it is is it not here at the bottom sensor down here right at, to the right to the right other way other way there it is there's the scrub here so it's up against the bank and he's got an opportunity now the scrub here is obscuring itself with that branch so he can then stalk you can see he's got a long way to go though to get anywhere near and it's completely open so it's not like he's hidden but he's going to try he's going to try and keep coming and keep using that to be able to see in this infrared light the way that the eyes catch it and they glow a little bit really helps for us to be able to track both of them so we can see the scrub here on the bottom right leopard on the on the top left and hopefully he's going to slowly but surely make his way down towards this area how cool is this so coming up onto this dam wall certainly seems like a better option. There he comes, slowly but surely. And you can see the light doesn't affect him in any way whatsoever. He's not com blinded by it. We're not showing him. The scrub hair can't see him. He, we can't um, affect the scrub hair so they can't see Hosanna. And so everybody is kind of at their natural state. And it is amazing to watch it in this way. The scrub hair is still feeding down below. He's got no idea there's a leopard stalking it. It's better that way, scrub here. You can see the scrub is just feeding. It has no clue that this leopard is coming and what's lurking behind it. Like I said, stuff nightmares are made of. Glowing eyes in the darkness coming towards you. I think many a child would be creeped out by that. And of course, for us, this is just so exciting. So hopefully he's going to just cover that ground. And where the scrub here is is perfect for him in a way because the scrub here is behind a little bush. And it's kind of hopping up towards us now. Behind these little bushes are not the worst places because Asana can use that as cover from the scrub bear. And you can see the scrub bear is basically going from little tuft of grass to little tuft of grass as it tries to kind of feed during the night. And perfect. Look, here comes Asana. You can see he's using that cover now of darkness to head in that direction. The scrub bear's ears are not going to be working as well when it's feeding. It's going to be rustling in the grass. It's not going to be making... It's going to be making a bit of noise. You see the scrub has now noticed something. Hang on. What's going on? No. Nope. Here comes Hosanna again. He's seen that the scrub is not watching. And he's going to slowly come in this direction. The problem is he's got to go uphill now to grab that scrub hair. If he can get behind that little bush and wait for the scrub hair to come to the left, he might be in business here. Do you see how he waits for the scrub hair to put its head down before he takes a step? Look at that. That is just patience control at the end of the day this leopard his tail his everything is twitching he's ex he's excited but he's controlling every little bit of that as he stalks towards the scrub hair and it is an exercise in complete patience and how a leopard goes about its business we all think that cats and stalking is easy and that these guys have it quite easy when they stalk but you can see how much patience how much exercise how much energy is put in and you see how he's working it out he's trying to work out oh the scrub is listening so let's stay there now just wait for the scrub to feed and he's frozen look he knows now a movement might give him away oh, the scrub is back feeding 
The scrub is also aware of something. It's like, mm, I don't know so much if everything's okay here. Much like the Nyala earlier. But it's, as soon as it feeds again, that gives Hosanna the opportunity to move. How cool is this? No, here comes the sister. The scrub is running straight towards us. It's it's right next to the vehicle at this stage. There's Hosanna. There's the vehicle. So our lights are completely off. I can't see either one of them right now. But literally, the scrub is running straight towards my tire, and Hosanna is just below on the bottom of the damn wall at the moment. And it's a bit of a chess game right now. So we're going to see who's going to move where next hopefully the scrub here comes to that patch of grass on the left of the screen and goes towards it to feed and then hosana can just use that thicket to come around and then maybe launch an attack from there but it doesn't look like it it looks like almost the scrub is going to come under our car instead don't come this way scrub here no toilet time when being stalked there we go that's what i was saying if he goes into those thickets and hosana can use the edge of the dam come around and use those long grassy areas to his advantage Come on. There we go. So you see now he's already starting to move in the background. He's starting to work out. Hang on a second. I've got an opportunity as soon as it goes into the thicket to be able to move. Amazing, isn't it? There he comes. See him moving now in the background? Kimberly, you say if Hosanna can get there, it's just a bound and he's got his dinner. I know it, it's so much patience he's got to exercise to get there that's the problem and look at him how he's positioning his feet slowly and watching moving ever so quietly hoping the scrub here doesn't see him where's the scrub here gone i've lost the scrub here oh there it is it's just on the left side there so scrub here on the left hosana on the right he's getting closer i wonder if he's going to launch his attack soon it's tantalizingly close now, unfortunately, we can't hear him walking. He's making absolutely no sound whatsoever. He is trying to keep as low profile as is possible. You see now he's watching it going down. He's positioning himself to ready to pounce. Look, the back legs are loaded. they down. You see how the bum is going downwards? He's basically, it's like loading a spring-loaded machine. So he's getting that so that he can do this big pounce over the top and then rush towards that scrub here no he's decided just a little far he's going to come around the grass instead that's the way to do it Osana. hopefully he doesn't end up in triage dam there we go there we go no he missed it he unfortunately slipped down the bank and into the water and the scrub here got away oh no sorry boy not only did you miss your dinner but you got wet as well oh no anyway that was just so cool <laughs> we're being spoiled by this young man he's let us have the most epic stalking sightings the last few days so close yet so far but how cool was that so 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 special wow <laughs> shame boy did you get a little wet as well on your way down unfortunately he's missed dinner so i think what we're going to do is probably wrap it up there we stayed a little bit longer just to see how that would all play out and with the scrub here departing the scene and running off into the distance and Hosanna looking a little bit bewildered we are probably going to start then our heading home and try and come back in the morning and see where he's gone I don't think he'll be here in the morning I think he'll probably head off somewhere else but you never know now unfortunately like I say it is that time to say goodbye I know Taylor and Jamie who are in the Masai Mara they've had an absolutely wonderful afternoon that side and they've had tried to get as much signal as possible and hopefully they'll combat their gremlin go along and, and have a good evening but from myself and Senzo we've had an absolutely fantastic afternoon it's been elephants we've had leopard giraffe it's just really couldn't have been any better whatsoever so from myself and Senzo and Lou in final control and Megan it's been a pleasure we'll see you tomorrow on the sunrise safari